Welcome to Lyme Regis Fossils. I hope you come along on this fossil collecting trip I do along the Jurassic Coast. If you believe you're going to find some nice stuff like this, it may well happen. So come with me and see what I find today. Let's go fossil collecting. There is church cliffs down there in the distance and you can see the tide is receding nicely and there is always a nice ammonite to see below the sea wall, the new sea wall. And there you can see the chambers of the creature as I wet that ammonite. Well, I've got a lot of room between me and the dangerous cliffs by being out at the edge of the sea, walking along, and I'm gonna get round this big, large mudslide. And here is a bottle you can see, and it's melted. The old Victorian bottle dump caught fire. They called it the Lime Volcano. And the bottles melted at over a thousand degrees C. And you can see some really amazing finds from this landslide and watch out for the muddy marine sediment there at the footings of the landslide. It can be quite sticky to get into and you can lose your boots. There's Golden Cap down there in the distance. It's a beautiful day. Here's a mudslide coming down onto the beach. That was quite active just a few minutes ago and I tried to film it in motion and you can see all that lias there, that lias material. Here I am doing some sieving for Susie and Trudy and a big shout out to Lawnside School. Well, that iron pyrite ammonite is not very well formed there, you can see. I'm looking in the base of the sieve and I have spotted what is a small crinoid specimen, a small crinoid stem that you can see there. And I've hoiked that out. That's a nice piece to take home. I'll probably put that in a bit of fresh water to soak the salt out. Here is a piece of melted glass, probably one of the old medicine bottles, that blue glass. And here's a very melted piece of glass. The old Victorian bottle dump got set on fire. There was iron pyrite that oxidized during the summer months and set a bituminous shale layer on fire. They called it the Lime Volcano. And here is the iron pyrite that you find on the beach. It is prevalent in places. I'm going to show you a walk around Lyme Regis as I get back into town and then some fossil preparation when I get back to Drake's Way out on the patio. I will develop some fossils to show you that work that I do on them to prepare them and make them look really good right down to the centre of these specific ammonites that I find and work on. Well, stick with me as I walk back into town. There is the Mary Anning statue. I'm also going to show you some super finds that I made in the past. Some amazing plesiosaur backbones I'll show you that were prepared. And you can see those articulated backbones later on in the video. There is the sun going down over Lyme Regis. You can see it's just ducking behind the top of the Lyme Regis Museum roof there. And the sun is on its way down and we'll do a little bit of a prep before the sun disappears. And you can see the historic cob down there in the distance, that beautiful harbour. There is the River Lim. You can see it's not in spate anymore. It hasn't rained a lot lately. And down there in the distance, I'm going to show you now the golden cap as I pan round. That's the highest point on the south coast, 191 metres. And the National Trust have been digging up there in some Bronze Age man barrows and worked out when Bronze Age man was up there 4,000 years ago. It was a heavily wooded land a mile and a half out to the sea. So that's a lot of erosion that's gone on along the Jurassic coast eroding out ammonites like this. Look at that ammonite there, shaved down so you can see the internal structure in that ammonite. And you can see those in the walls as you walk along, down along the marine parade. Those two ammonites are a lovely feature down there. 
So there's the sun going down over town. And I'm going to take you now and do some fossil prep out on the patio, right down in town itself, in Lyme Regis town. Let's pyrite prep and let's just see there you can, there's a gull, a seagull come to keep me company. That's a bit of a surprise, gave me a bit of a fright. Here's an ammonite, this one's called Promicrocerus. I'm gonna prep the middle out and you'll see with this hardened steel pin, as I push through that muddy material, the center there will start to be relieved from the muddy muck that was on top of it. And I'm just gonna scratch the rest off with my thumb and you can see that perfect para ammonite the male of the species Promicrocerus we've got there that's really a nice big one too they don't come much bigger than that and here with a good old starfish in the background is my fossil find which is a plesiosaur articulated vertebral column there those articulated plesiosaur backbones really nicely formed and here is a bit of fossil wood and a bit of lime bay agate next to that petrified wood found in the chert beds so it's nice to have that as a fossil find from the cretaceous period the cretaceous period finds don't come up that much i find as i walk out along the jurassic coast i don't get much of this material but it's really fun to see with torito borings in there as well those borings have really reddish tinge to them and i'll show you some more of the fossil wood you can see there some of the chert bed wood and some of it is really quite black that material it's like it lay and rotted on the floor or maybe even got burnt. I don't know, there must be a few theories as to how that got so jet black, that actual petrified wood there. So the do's and don'ts as you go down along the Jurassic Coast fossil hunting, you really must be aware of the dangerous cliffs. They're liable to fall suddenly and without warning. Thank you very much for watching this short fossil hunting video. Along the Jurassic Coast, I made this through to the east and if you liked the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It's free to watch. So give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one. I'll make another fossil hunting film soon when the weather gets good and I head out collecting down through to the west of Lyme Regis. I'll go heading out towards Pinay Bay. I'll be looking there for some fossil wood 